He was looking. He waited too long. Got sacked on the 44. Long. And allowing the too much time, way too much time. The protection was there. Second down, 13 and a half. Falcons on their own 44. We're four points down, and the crowd chanting all that venom. Miller back to throw. Going long. Dion, they won't let him run down the side. The guy's blocking him from running. Dion complains. He was held up by somebody who wasn't quite as fast as he was down around there, 30, who was running in front of him. Brown, a cornerback. Dion got mad, but there was no call. A guy had no hands on him. It's going to be third down. Look at the clock, Jeff. Six minutes. A lot of time left in this game, especially when a team that hasn't turned the ball over, 253 plays, 15 quarters, has turned it over three times in uh, four quarters. Falcons on their own, 43 and a half, third down, long. Four points behind in the fourth quarter, trying to win the NFC West. Phillips back and forth. Miller going to take it and come back, rolls to the right. And he throws a long one for Haynes, and it is juggled and dropped. He and a quarterback on the 17-yard line. Holt was fighting him for it. I don't know if it'd been a little higher for what I had it or not, but he and Holt went after the bomb, both running and juggling that ball, and we'll have to punt. I think he slowed up just a little bit because the ball isn't deep. And Holt has a little bit of a time to make a recovery there and does, unlike that very first long touchdown pass to Michael Haynes. May have needed more depth on the ball. Martin, the safety man for Dallas. Are the Cowboys going to block another one? They're lined up like they want to block another one. Bullhag, the cannon. And the snap, the kick. Lazy spiral. Martin comes to his right on the 17 with a one man fell in the water. Another man missed him. Another man missed him. The 22, the 27. They finally get him. Guys were running and skidding right by him. Now it's the Cowboys ball. If they get a drive, they can hang on to this thing. 538 is the clock. It's 31 to 27. They're still unpiling everybody down there. And the bottom man is Lyles, the linebacker. Timeout. WSB Atlanta Falcons Football Network. So, Dad, do you think Mickey Mouse will be there? Of course he'll be there. That's what they said. All oh, right. They said, fly Delta to Disney World, and Disney characters will meet you when you get there. I'm going to be the first one off the plane. First, huh? Well, now, son, let's uh, talk about that. Talk about what, Dad? About this being first thing. You know, in my day, patience was considered a virtue. You didn't always have to be first. Okay, I think I understand. There are lots of other people on this Delta flight, too, you know, like your mom and little sister who are going to want to see Minnie Mouse. And then there's you and me who want to see Mickey. <laughs> sure do like that Mickey. He's really something. Sure is, Dad. So now, son, <clears throat> you see what I mean about you're not always having to be first, don't you? I think so, Dad. Good. It means you want to be first. Well, I... Well, Only one airline cares enough to have some old familiar friends meet you and your family right there in the terminal when you're going to Walt Disney World in Orlando. Delta. When you're the official airline of Walt Disney World, it shows. Oh, look, Dad, there's Mickey. All the way, son. Stand aside. Scott Slade and the WSB News Weather and Traffic Team get you going with Atlanta's Morning News here on AM 750 WSB. on their own 26 and a half and they lead 31 to 27 with 538 they want to kill the clock and drive this thing this thing has gone up and down and back and forth you think the playoff games are going to be like this too well this is what they want you you'd want this kind of a game a little ebb and flow to it some excitement a lot of variety as far as the different amounts of scoring the different types of scoring at least and uh, i'd imagine there's a pretty good audience that's uh, glued to listening and watching this one. Here come the Cowboys up to the line. 73 and a half yards away. Got an H back on the right. Got a wide out over there left. The backs are in an eye. Long count. Burline going to run a little draw to Emmett. He bounces out to the left. 30. Got a block. 35, 40. Legs still going all the way to midfield with great speed and leg drive and Tuggle finally got him. He got about 24, 25 yards. Deion Sanders had to get him. Brady was up there. Emmett Smith is breaking our heart here. Ken Tippin's got a little 
little bit sucked in that time is on that right side. His job is containment on that outside, not to let anybody get out at side of him. He gets a little sucked in because Emmett Smith has a great ability to hit it in the middle and then bounce it out. Cowboys coming up on the 49 in Atlanta territory now, and they've got a four-point lead. Backs are offset a little. Oh, they go to Emmett again as he starts inside right tackle. He only got about three, and we hit him. Torrey Epps had him first. Brian is there. Linebackers are there. Time called, 5.01 to play. Time out, WSB Atlanta Falcon Football Network. If you wanted to paint like a pro, you wouldn't open one drop cloth, put up one ladder. You wouldn't scrape one chip of paint without starting off at Sherwin-Williams. Because for a professional, paint is not just paint, it's his reputation. So why stake your home on anything less than the paint so many pros use and the professional advice that comes with it? There's only one paint this good, and there's only one place you can get it. The pros know. Ask Sherwin-Williams. How does your car sound when you start it? Perhaps a little like this? Stop in the Walmart and pick up Gum Out Extra Fuel Injector Cleaner from Pennzoil. Gum Out helps eliminate engine stalls and hard starts while providing maximum performance. Then your car will sound like this. So for increased engine performance that detergent gasoline alone can't deliver, and at the Walmart price which no one else can deliver, add a bottle of Gum Out to your car's gas tank. Your car's engine will be happy. Walmart. Always. Second and seven, Dallas. Outsider 46. Burline back to throw. Fires complete to the 38. Novacek the tight end. Drew in about nine, ten yards. Tippins hanging on. Cowboys for sure trying to deny us the NFC Western Championship. We call time again. They've driven this thing to our 38 and a half. The clock is now 4.50. And the Cowboys got a four-point lead, and they've got the ball. They don't have the clock yet, but they're grabbing at the clock, Jeff. Well, they're going to do... They're going to use Smith, obviously. He's had a big day. I mean, he has been probably the most impressive back I've seen this year. The ability to break tackles and uh, to find a little hole where there isn't much there. But you've got to hold it to at least a field goal here or get the turnover, make the stop. Uh, you're still in this game with 450 left. We've had a couple times today when we've had a turnover and we wound up missing a field goal as it turned out. They were long field goals, but we could not quite use the turnover. And that happened a few minutes ago. And now look at the Cowboys. Got 10 points out of three turnovers. The last one being that missed field goal. Didn't get anything out. Got an eye. H back right, wide out left. Six men on the line to go to Emmett. Starts a tie. He broke a tackle and took it over the 34. I can't believe that. He pulled his legs away from people around the 37 and got it down around the 34. It takes a lot of people to tackle him. Case was there, everybody there. Rick Bryan on the bottom of the pile. And we've called time again. We aren't going to have any timeouts now. We've stopped it at 434. And the Cowboys are second and six, and they are on Atlanta's 34. Calling those timeouts kind of early, huh? Well, it's, uh, I'd be a little surprised. Uh, you're going to have to use them. I guess the uh, decision is use them now, and hopefully maybe you get the turnover early or use them a little bit later because they're going to start using the time up. The next two downs, the big two downs. If playing your favorite sport is serious business, call Piedmont Hospital Sports Injury Clinic at 605-3838. An experienced orthopedic doctor is on call. No appointment needed. 605-3838. That's Piedmont Hospital's sports injury clinic and on the nfl scoreboard the jets playing for that final spot in the afc are leading miami with a minute and five seconds remaining that's at joe robbie stadium 17 to 13 the jets on top and pittsburgh is now leading cleveland 10 to 3 that one's late in the fourth quarter dallas up to the line second down about five and a half or six they're inside of the Falcons 34. Toss sweep left to Emmett. He stops and tries to cut. And they had him on the 37. He got it back to the 34 and a half. There's a fight after the whistle, but they managed to stop it. Brady was involved with that one. Tuggle made that last stop. Emmett did something surprising there, Jeff. He took it out and then stopped. Wanted to do something else. He lost the yard. Little of what they... Well, they do. They pull a guard around there, and he was the man blocking on Ken Tippins. Ken Tippins made a nice play, got some penetration, 
And that's what you have to do. Force the runner to make a decision. Don't let him have a clear-cut run at it, especially a guy like Emmett Smith. Third down, seven. 3.56 is the clock. Dallas with a four-point lead. Four wideouts, one back. They slant it in, complete to the 26. McKire hit him right away, but that was Irvin, and it'll be a first down. They got about, they got it over the 25. They got 10 or 10 and a half yards. The Cowboys with a four-point lead have driven it all the way to Atlanta's 24 and a half. 3.26 the clock running. Everything now is starting to lean in the wrong direction because the clock is kicking us a little now. That's one that hurt right there, Larry. Pretty good coverage, though, by Tim McKire. He's all over, and the ball is just perfectly delivered. Cowboys let Emmett Smith rest for one play, and now they got him back in there with Johnston, that fullback in front of him. They've driven to our 24 and a half. They're controlling this thing. They go to Emmett. He bounces. He slips a little on the wet turf as you went in the right tackle. He only got a yard. Rady was one of the men grabbing at him. The clock is moving. 2.47. The dumb clock. It's 31 to 27, Dallas. They walk as slow as they possibly can back to the huddle, and there's nothing we can do about this now. Now well, all you got is a two-minute warning, and uh, they're going to have to get one more playoff, though, before this... Uh with this two-minute warning coming up. Cowboys by four points, 226. Clock running, 223. They're down to the Falcons, 24. At the very least, they'll be taking a shot at a field goal for a seven-point lead. They're in it eye again. They're staying in the same formation. They run the H back a little. One wide out. Toss sweep. Emmett coming wide to the right. He slipped and fell on the wet stuff as he got to the corner. He wasn't slipping and falling the first three quarters. <laughs> he's slipping now, but he's done his damage. As Brian Jordan came up to hit him, he skidded and went down. Two-minute warning. Timeout. WSB Atlanta Falcon Football Network. If looks aren't everything... I'll take some blush, lipstick, mascara, moisturizer, eyeliner, eye cream, eyeshadow, concealer, foundation. Substance. Why is makeup so popular? Oh, that'll be $312.87. Why ask why? Try Bud Dry. The beer that's dry brew, not watered down. To drink light, yet satisfy completely. It's one thing. Louise? Is that you? That's refreshingly natural. Why ask why? Anheuser Bush, St. Louis, Missouri. You know, if you're one of the loyal Falcon fans that listens to the game every week, you depend on my eyes to see the game for you. That's why I depend on OptiWorld, because they make sure my vision is perfect. They have doctors of optometry right on the premises, so I can have an eye exam, choose from a great selection of frames, and have my glasses in about an hour. OptiWorld, proud sponsors of Falcon football. Remember, you can depend on me for game coverage, but you can depend on OptiWorld to help you see the other important things in life. What can you buy for $9.95 these days? We deliver, we deliver. Quite a lot. With express mail overnight delivery service from your post office. We deliver, we deliver. For less than $10, you put the full power of the United States Postal Service to work for you. We deliver, we deliver. Over 700,000 men and women ready to do whatever it takes to assure next morning delivery. Express mail service, just $9.95 for up to 8 ounces. We deliver for you. Sponsored by your postal service. In your car or at work, tune in two, three, four times a day. AM 750 WSB News Weather Traffic. Depend on it. Cowboys will be on the Falcons. 24, third down and nine and a half. Four-point lead. Let's pause 15 seconds for station identification. If it's important, you know you'll hear it first from the AM 750 WSB News weather and traffic team and Atlanta's morning news. AM 750 WSB, Atlanta's news weather and traffic station. Depend on it. Cowboys come out of the huddle. The clock and everything in their favor. Our timeouts are gone, remember. Wide out right. H back left about a step. Backs are offset a little. Burline underneath. Going to give it to Emmett Smith. And he oh. fumbled the ball. Scott Case caught it in midair. And we got the ball in the 17. Emmett Smith fumbled. Gardner hit him. Anthony said Gardner hit him. We got a man down. Hurt. The clock is 154. That Brian up slow. He's on his knees. All right. 
Well, we got the ball back, but we ain't got any timeouts, Jeff. Hole bursting open. Mo Gardner grabs his arm. The ball pops up in the air. Anything can happen. Minute 54. Awful lot of time, even without any timeouts. 31 to 27 Dallas, but we got to go sideline patterns now. We got to stop the clock. And here comes a crowd after us. They don't want us to hear anything. The crowd. A lot of adversity to overcome. Yeah. Four turnovers you got from a team that hasn't given up any turnovers in four games. Here come the Falcons up to the line. They're on their own 18. The ball popped in the air, and Scott Case caught it. Now, shotgun, red gun, crowd hollering against us. Dallas is in what amounts to a 4-1. Snap it to Miller, and he looks. He fires right over the middle of Pritchard, complete up on the 26. We're going to have to hurry. You're right, Jeff. Pritchard caught a low diving skidding ball for eight yards to the 26. Pritchard turns and looks at Miller. What is it? We're in that shotgun red gun. Miller had a holler to him. We snap it to Miller again. And Miller is going to run 25-30. Puts his head down. Dives at the 35 and a first down. Yes, yeah, so it was, almost was a late hit. And it'll be, uh, they're trying to bring the ball out 82, 81 seconds. First down, Falcons on the 35. Haynes stays over by one side and just stays lined up. Dixon's the other wide out. Shotgun, red gun, snap at the Miller. We're trying to save ourselves. Throw it to Rise and complete. They hit him on the 40. 64, 63, 62, 61 seconds. Trying to win the NFC West. Shotgun, red gun, snap to Miller. Miller looks, Miller looks. Throws, rising on the 43. The 39 to 40. Get it out. Side. He did and fumble as he went out. The clock stopped 46 seconds. Oh. He turned and streaked for the sideline. 46 seconds. Nice play, Andre Risen. He avoided the chuck of 23. Robert Williams trying to hold him up short and then nestles down into oh. the zone. What a great effort to get it outside, recognizing nothing more up the field. Ball on the 44 and a half. 46 seconds. Risen streaking for the sideline. Win or lose, we're due in there tonight in the airport about eight. <laughs> they have really taken a shot at this thing. Three wide outs left. One to the right. Snap to Miller. Miller looking, looking over the middle. Dropped by Pritchard, who may have had it a little bit behind his right knee, a little low on their 36. 41 seconds. And it's second down and 10. The plane is due sometime between 7.30 and 8 tonight. And I say that because do you realize what they're trying to do here? It would be a little miraculous, but it'll take old lady luck, man. Of course, the ball just popped in the air about a minute or so ago. The crowd up. Gosh, they really hate us. Shotgun, red gun. Cowboys in that four-man rush. Snap to Miller. Miller looks. And Miller throws, complete to Michael Haynes, coming across 37, 35, 30. Hurry up to the line, it'll be a first down of the 30. Brown, the corner, got him. 30, 29, 28 seconds, 27 seconds. Miller gonna take it and down the ball and stop the clock with 24 seconds. It'll be second down on the 30. And somewhere over New Zealand, Miller Pope's famous spotting boards have just arrived. What's the name of that town? Is it Auckland? What's the name of the capital of New Zealand? I've never been there. Yeah, they had a battle there in World War II. You remember that. <laughs> Second down on the 30. 24 seconds. Here we come up to the line. Cowboys lead 31 to 27. Listen to them scream at us. Shotgun, red gun. It snaps to Miller. He looks right over the middle of Rise and complete on the 16. Hurry up. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12. Miller downs the ball. 11 seconds. Good God almighty. 11 seconds. Two shots to the end zone. This is just what you work for. Oh, what do Two you mean? shots like to this? the end zone. This hard? What do you mean this is what you work for? Hey, uh, <laughs> this is a game that comes down to the last play. Coaches and players, they should uh. live. For a game like this, this is one of the more exciting games I've seen in a oh, long yeah. time watching pro football. Ball is four or five inches outside of the 16. It's second down and 10. 11 seconds. Shotgun, red gun, and now wait a minute. Dallas calls time. Why don't we just sit down and rest? <laughs> Dallas calls time. 11 seconds. 
the war of attrition for Dallas. Oh, They've been wow. giving it up all the way down the field with that zone. I know it's compressed down here. Does not mean they can't get it in on the zone again. Dallas is trying to make a decision. Do we put some pressure on him, or do we let him sit back there as we have, and he's moved this team all the way down the field? They'll come after him now, won't they? Huh? they gotta, well, that's a decision they got to make. They, they haven't been successful with the zone. All they've done is been eating up time. They haven't stopped them. Now, we run, we ran Dion out as we came out toward that play. Then they called time. Now we got Dion back out there with him again as a receiver. Ball just outside the 16. 11 lousy seconds. Not 31 seconds. 11. And no timeouts. Crowd up roaring. They sniff blood, I'm afraid. 31 to 27. Now we spread it out. Shotgun, red gun. Miller waits for it. Snap to Miller. Miller going to throw to Dion, and they force him out. Come on. Flag that down. Time. Call Flag it. down Call for it. six yes, sir. seconds. Dion fighting for a catch and a man shoving him. It may be interference in the end zone. What is it? It called? is interference. It's 24. Got to be. It's he got loved to him. be. It's got to be. Now we're all standing up in the booth now wondering. And everybody's gathered around the officials. Dion tried to catch a ball low. The guy was holding him. Officials time. 35 offense. What? They called a foul on who? What about 24 in the, on the sideline? He's they got, at him. They got two flags down there where they fouled Dion. They got two flags where they fouled Dion. They called a foul on Pritchard on the other side. Is that what they did? What they got? Offsetting penalties? You are kidding me. The officials choked royally in a corner. However, it could have been an offsetting thing. Now, let me say that. No. It could have been offsetting. He's called something on Pritchard. He called something on I didn't even see where Pritchard was. I'm watching the cornerback who is mugging him down here in the sideline. Here he are. Win it anyway. Come on. Six seconds. Shotgun, red gun. Boy, was Dion mad, and our whole team was mad. Here it is. Third down. We throw. Oh, my God. He threw it too high. Incomplete. We got one second. Haynes was open, crossing the two-yard line, and the ball's a little high. Fourth down. Did you see him breaking? Oh, open? he was wide open. Somebody blew something on the short end of that zone, and and Chris saw it right away. He just delivered the ball just too oh. quick, maybe. Just got out of there a little bit high. One second. You sure would like to know what the penalty calls were. What's the difference? Here's the last play. This stadium ought to applaud both of these bunches. <laughs> Shotgun, red gun, ball in the 16. Give it to Miller. He's back. And he throws. And incomplete. Dion couldn't hang on. They're fighting him for the ball. And the Cowboys have broken our hearts. 31 to 27. There was good luck and bad luck on this one all over the place. I know for sure on that one call, where is Glanville? Do you see Glanville? I see June, and June's giving that official his earful about it. Yeah. He was, inter June is in his face all the way down the field. <laughs> He's backpedaling on him. Well, uh, it's tough, tough loss. 31 to 27. Gutless call, gutless down here in this corner. Boy, oh boy. Well, and Dion almost caught that last ball, didn't he? Tough loss. What a great game. What a tremendous yeah. football game. Tremendous game. 31 to 27. We'll be back after these words on the WSB Atlanta Falcon Football Network. Somewhere out here. So through January 26th, call your travel agent or Fairfield Inn at 1-800-228-2800 or Courtyard at 1-800-321-2211. They're the solution to all your holiday housing problems. Except Aunt Shirley's pit bull, he'll just have to have his turkey and the camel. Rooms are limited. Some restrictions may apply. Rates not available to groups or in conjunction with other offers. Courtyard's special Thursday night rate requires Friday night stay. Offer good at participating Fairfield Inn and Courtyard locations. You're never more than six minutes away from weather and traffic on Atlanta's Morning News. AM 750 WSB. Depend on it. Up here in the press box, I think somebody said Detroit and Buffalo were in overtime 14-14, and that may have been why the crowd was roaring, huh, Dave? I think they were taking a look, too, at the rushing totals that were posted up on the board, and Emmett Smith well over 100 yards today, but 
Buffalo and Detroit have just gone overtime. Detroit on a last second field goal could have won that game. It was a chip shot and the place kicker missed it. So the Lions and the Bills are now in overtime. Cleveland and Pittsburgh are playing late into the fourth quarter. Last score we had was the Steelers on top, 10 to three. The game that really matters today in the AFC, it's the only one that matters there really. The Jets at Miami, the Jets leading 17 to 13 in the last minute or so of play. That game might be over and we'll try to get a final for you, but the winner of that one takes home the final playoff bid in the AFC. And it's Tampa Bay leading the Colts 17 to three. That one late in the fourth quarter as well. Cincinnati on top of New England 21 to seven. Today's game has been brought to you by the Georgia Power Good Sense Program. Good Sense saves you energy and money. By Sherwin-Williams Paint Stores. There's only one paint this good and there's only one place you can get it. The pros know. Ask Sherwin-Williams. By Pennzoil. Makers of Pennzoil Motor Oil and Gamot Extra Fuel Injector Cleaner. By Delta Airlines. The official airline of the Atlanta Falcons. By Winn-Dixie. America's supermarket. With low prices nobody can beat. Nobody. By Courtyard by Marriott. By Goodies Headache Powders and Extra Strength Tablets. Goodies when you work for a living. Next week, we don't know where we're going to be for sure if the New Orleans Saints do falter and lose against Phoenix today. The Falcons will be home to face probably this Dallas Cowboy team. We'll let you know as soon as we know. Now stay tuned for the Locker Room Show next on the WSB Atlanta Falcons Football Network. When it's gotta be hot, we're ready to drive. Call 662 Sometimes life isn't fair. Sometimes it isn't even partly cloudy. Like, why is that person in front of you at the bank always doing the Lockheed payroll? And why are some of us cursed with a buckhead taste on a tobacco road budget? Well, cheer up. Help is as close as your phone. Call Pizza Hut Delivery and get fast, free delivery on your choice of delicious Pizza Hut quality pizzas. Buy one at the regular price and get up to four more of equal or lesser value for only four bucks. Like they say, one at the regular price, the rest, four bucks, four bucks, four bucks, four bucks. And that includes four dollar deals on popular supreme meat lovers or pepperoni lovers pizza. Call 662-5555. They can't speed up your teller lines, but they got a $4 pizza deal you can take all the way to the bank. Hey, pizza Hut, we're ready to try. Call 662 Hey, it's us, the Wolf Pack. Hey, how, how are you doing? You know, a lot of people ask us, who's the real wolf behind Wolf Camera and Video? Well, it's time you knew. Wolfgang that... Amadeus Mozart. Oh, come on. No. Virginia Wolf, get oh, real furball Jeez. brain. Hi, guys. Ah, here he is now, Chuck Wolf. You know, guys, a lot of people are surprised to learn there is a real wolf behind Wolf Camera and Video. Well, I personally stand behind everything we do. Like photo processing? Especially photo processing. I'm trying to get the word out. There's no sense trusting your once-in-a-lifetime memories with anyone else but Wolf Camera and Video. Our prints are 37% larger, and when you join the Wolfpack Club, you get an extra set of prints for free. Plus, there's no extra charge for having your prints back in an hour. And going to Wolf Camera and Video doesn't mean paying more for quality processing. Exactly. Hey, if you're the real wolf, maybe you'd like to join us tonight. We're crashing a sheep party. Come on. I'm sorry, guys. Got other plans. Thanks for the invite, though. Wolf Camera has over 30 locations in the Atlanta area. Check the yellow pages for the store nearest you. When you need to know, tune in two, three, four times a day. The News Watch never stops at AM 750 WSB. Depend on it. Welcome back to Texas Stadium, where the Cowboys have beaten the Atlanta Falcons 31-27 in one of the all-time thrilling games I think you'll ever see or hear. Went right down to the wire when it looked like the Falcons were going to pull it out. Uh, they didn't get the call. You hate blaming things on the officials, but boy, I thought Deion Sanders was mugged royally over here on this sideline. I did not see uh, the play on Pritchard, and Pritchard was called for some penalty. They did not call anything on Larry Brown, but he sure, that was the second time today, earlier in the third quarter, I think it was, uh, looked like he mugged Deion down on the end zone. And joining us is Tommy Novus, and Tommy, 
of this. Uh, I mean, I've been talking to you the last two days, and you've been on pins and needles. I, I don't think I've seen you as excited uh, <laughs> since uh, maybe right before you retired, since back when you were playing. You really well, have gotten into this, uh, this game here and what it meant to the Falcons. Well, uh, Jeff, I think we all, including yourself, anybody has followed this team, it's been an exciting year. Uh, these players, as, as Jerry has stated, uh, they just do not quit. And again today they did not. Uh, I agree with you. There was a bunch of pushing. That thing of him going out of bounds. Uh, this, uh, you know, enough said about the officials. We lost the football game, and now, tell you what, we've got it. Uh, we didn't want to get ourselves into this spot, but we need to pull for the Cardinals out there on the West Coast, and and uh, hopefully they can pull something off. But the Saints are going to have right now. It's just kind of reversed. What we were looking at with a victory would have given us the Western Division crown plus the home field advantage. It's reversed now. The Saints are in that position now. They can win. They know what the score, the outcome of this ball game uh, is and was and or whatever, Jeff. Uh, but uh, now they've got to be excited because they've got a chance to bring the uh, Western Division home to New Orleans and bring get that home field advantage. Uh, that's if they win. They've got to win. So we've got to pull for them to lose. If they lose, uh, again, it, it will make us Western Division champs, and we'll have the, uh, the home field advantage there in Atlanta against the New Orleans Saints. So either way, the Falcons are going to play the Saints. Are they going to play them in Atlanta, or are they going to play them in New Orleans? The date will not be decided, though, until, is it tonight or maybe after, after tomorrow night's Monday night game? Does that mean anything or not? Well, we did not see anything here today or hear anything. It, uh, it could be later on today uh, for certain tomorrow, but... Uh, uh, you know, it's uh, the league and, and the, the networks, the television people are, you know, talking about that. And, it, and a, lot of, a lot depends on where the teams are that are in the playoffs and who's going you know, determining who's going to play on Saturday and Sunday. Tommy, I tell you, I, uh, I, I don't think I, I said it earlier. I've not seen a more exciting game than this game. Two teams, both on the rise, both young teams building through the draft, uh, new coaches, new programs, new players. And... Uh, uh, both came here to play. I mean, they, they, all this talk about uh, we've got, uh, or we don't have anything to settle. The Cowboys wanted this game, wanted the rushing title for Emmett Smith, and they wanted uh, the chance to beat Detroit maybe in the control of their own, own destiny. But also, five wins in a row for them. They stop Atlanta's five-game winning streak. Well, right, Jeff. This was a big ball game for this uh, franchise. Uh, you could tell that. Uh, could, like you say, Emmett Smith carried the ball, what, 20-some-odd oh, uh, uh, yeah. time. I think at one time it was 25 carries, but you don't have your stud back carrying that often if you don't come out the intent of winning this football game. They came out here with that intent. Uh, no, this is a big game. They had a sellout crowd here today, and these fans were really into it. And this will be the last time they'll play here in Texas Stadium. So they wanted to finish that up on a, you know, good note. Uh, they're they're in the in the playoffs naturally, but all their games will definitely be played away from home. So this was a, a big game for the franchise for many, many reasons. That Emmett Smith, I tell you what, I haven't I know the guy does not have great speed, but he's got that knack. I know people that watch the game today and listen to y'all. He's just got that knack of that of getting that first tackler to miss him. He's got the slide, he does a little hop. Uh, but he's one of the best I've seen in a long time at getting that first tackler, that would-be tackler, to missing. All right, if a game is to be played in Atlanta, and that'll be determined either tonight after Phoenix and, uh, and uh, New Orleans wrap up, when would the general tickets then go on sale uh, to the public? Well, they'll go on sale. We're all set up with the Ticketmaster people there in Atlanta, and uh, they, they will go on sale at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. Again, that's if the New Orleans Saints lose, so we need to pay attention to that. But uh, at 9 o'clock tomorrow, at all the Ticketmaster centers, uh, which are in Turtles, Sound Warehouse, Coconut, Selective Tower, also you can do it by calling in uh, phone. That phone number is 249-6400. 249-6400. And I know, Jeff, a lot of pe uh, people listening to this uh, broadcast from outside, there is an 800 number. It's 800-326-4000. Now, that's uh, all of this about Ticketmaster and tickets going on sale. We need the Saints to lose tomorrow. I mean, tonight, uh, later on. In fact, that game started now. Well, we'll find out a little bit more about that tonight. Joining us, Tommy Novus here at Texas Stadium. The Falcons beaten in a very, very tight, tough ball game, 31-27 by the Dallas Cowboys. I'm Jeff Van Oden, along with Larry Munson, Dave O'Brien. We'll be back in a moment on the Atlanta Falcons Football Network.
of getting an office copier, think Canon and Southern Copy Machines. Canon's taken its high-volume finishing capabilities and applied them to their new mid-volume copiers, the reliable NP3050 and NP3030, so you get the most popular Canon feature of all, value. The NP3050 and NP3030 are available with the Canon Performance Guarantee Program, which includes a replacement guarantee for up to three years. Call Southern Copy Machines at 448-0770. That's Southern Copy Machines, 448-0770, your authorized Canon dealer. There's nothing like the taste of a WD brand steak. Nothing else even comes close because the WD brand from Winn-Dixie is a symbol of quality beef. Tender, juicy, always U.S. choice. See the beef people and pick up a WD brand steak for your grill. Winn-Dixie has a way, a way of west. Winn-Dixie. WD brand beef, the closest thing you'll find to the true flavor of the West. Nobody has more people committed to covering the morning news. It's Atlanta's Morning News on AM 750 WSB. The Falcons have been beaten in a thriller here in Texas Stadium in Dallas. In the process, they know for certain who their playoff opponent will be. Regardless of what the Saints do, it will be the New Orleans Saints. But if the Saints win, Atlanta must travel to the Superdome next weekend on either Saturday or Sunday if the Saints falter at Phoenix, then the Falcons still get to host it, and they will, in fact, be the NFC Western Division champions. So we'll know in about three hours. We already know that Detroit has won in overtime 17-14 to on an OT field goal, and the Jets have also beaten Miami. A tough road victory for the New York Jets. They win it 23-20, to two overtime games today. The Jets win it, Detroit wins it, and the Falcons were beaten here in an absolute thriller. They went right down to the final pass in Texas. We'll continue with more in a moment on the WSB Atlanta Falcons Football Network. Hi, it's Fred. We've been saying all along that new Eagle Ranch tortilla chips are so good, they go with almost everything. And judging from this stack of mail, apparently the public agrees. Let's take a look. Pat Oakley from North Carolina writes, My specialty is devil chicken liver dip. My guests always rave about it, but when I served it with Eagle Ranch tortilla chips, all I heard was, Are these chips homemade? Could I get the recipe for the chips? Your chips don't go with chicken liver, so they don't go with everything, and I'll never buy them again. Okay. Sorry to hear about that, Pat, but we said Eagle Ranch tortilla chips mix with almost everything. Everyone knows that doesn't include poultry intestines. And for your future information, Pat, our chips don't go with baked buzzard beaks, eye of newt pate, or toasted toenail clippings. Ha! But they go just fine with everything else, and they're even better by themselves. Eagle Ranch tortilla chips. Eagle took the chip and made it hip. I'm on Seekers, a Ludlow porch, and I want to tell you an absolutely true story. I had a call several months ago from the folks at Allergy Free, the people that make the permanent electrostatic air filters, and they wanted me to do their commercials. And I said, well, let me try one of these things. So they sent me one, put it in my furnace, dropped it right in, and in about three days, Diane came up to me. She'd been cleaning the house, and she said, do you know that there's no dust in this house? And I said, what do you mean? She said, there's no dust on the dining room table, no dust on the floors. There's no dust in this house. Wow. Let me tell you what happened. The allergy-free filter got that dust, gave us a cleaner, healthier place to live. You need to have one of these in your house, particularly if you have an, an allergy of some sort. You give these people a call. 1-800-324-4247. No more dust. 1-800-324-4247. Allergy-free. You tell them Ludlow Ports told you to call. Allergy-free. 
the only station with Skycopter and Skyplane traffic. And we have updates every six minutes. AM 750 WSB. Larry Munson and Jeff Van Note uh, up here in the press box. And Phoenix is leading New Orleans three to nothing in the first quarter. But Jeff Phoenix cannot handle New Orleans unless it's 146 degrees. I that think, way they'd have a shot. I think you're right there. Uh, Stan Gelbaugh, Tom Toop, I guess, quarterback in Phoenix. Not that impressive offensively. And certainly uh, New Orleans with Hebert back in there. And Hilliard. And, and Hilliard and, and having a feeling that they can win their first NFC Western title. Yeah. Uh, it's got to be everything in their favor to go out there and win it right now. Anything can happen, of course. But I would think after they find out we've lost that they'd beat those guys four touchdowns in the second half. Well, I don't know if, they, if they're capable. Uh, well, obviously they're capable at home, what they did to the Raiders on Monday night. But there's a there's another example of a team without uh, a, maybe a strong quarterback, a strong offense, talking about the Raiders. So they're capable at home. Whether they're able to do that on the road, I'm not sure. But the incentive is certainly there. It's laying right there in front of you. Falcons have lost it 31 to 27, but frankly, a sensational football game. We'll be back after these words. WSB Atlanta Falcon Football Network. Hello? Yes, I'd like to give you a free fur removal brush with our 20 volume cat care library. Goodbye. Hello? I'd like to give you a free pocket glow plus a. Goodbye. Sun Hello, I have a telephone offer you can't afford to hang up on. $250 back when you use Pactel Cellular Service for 36 continuous months. $250 back. For complete details, call now. 1-800-4-PACTEL. Hello? Well, is this the lady of the house? It's one of the best childhood memories, playing with your Lionel Electra train set. Today, you can take advantage of Gandy Dancer's Hobby Shop store-wide 20% discount, just in time for Christmas. Experience old-fashioned, friendly service at Gandy Dancer's Hobby Shop. You'll find a complete selection of Lionel trains and accessories at Gandy Dancer's Hobby Shop, east of the Shambly Plaza, next to City Hall and downtown Shambly. Visit Gandy Dancer's Hobby Shop, Lionel and Gandy Dancer's, because no childhood should be without a train. <laughs> If your house isn't comfortable in winter, Wade Heating and Air Conditioning has a challenge for you. To borrow a phrase from a well-known entrepreneur, if you can find a better furnace than the Comfort Maker Deluxe Natural Gas Furnace, buy it. But you won't find one, because this Comfort Maker furnace is over 80% efficient and so fuel stingy that in most cases, it pays for itself in less than three years. Comfort Maker's patented RPJ heat exchanger assures long years of faithful service. Ask Wade Heating and Air Conditioning about the ultimate limited warranty on this furnace. Call Wade, your energy-wise professional, for full details and a very affordable quote. That's Wade's Heating at 941-8598. Comfort Maker, Comfort Maker. WSB's big, clear signal lets you hear the morning news, weather, and traffic anytime, anywhere. AM 750 WSB. Empty uh, stadium now. Phoenix was leading 3 to nothing, but unless the Apaches come out of the Chiricahua Mountains, they are not watch going to it. beat New Orleans. Watch no, it. Watch it. They are my favorites. <laughs> well... Tough regular season. The regular season finally ended. We got a shot to go, and from all indications, we may have to go to New Orleans, huh? But who knows when or where? Well, we'll find out a little bit later on tonight. I think it's uh, once this Phoenix and uh, Saints game is over, and you just got to pull for the Saints to, uh, yeah, well, by to the way, win for you. Yeah, we're getting cut-ins, uh, cut-ins uh, where we're following the Phoenix and the Saints broadcast off uh, WWL in New Orleans, and that is being fed in and out of Atlanta on WSB. Every once in a while, they're going to jump to it until that game uh, becomes decisive one way or the other. And we Blaine Van Oden tells me it's Chris Chandler quarterbacking Phoenix. Gelba and Tupper are sitting in the pine. Oh, that Thank right? You, Holy smokes. Anyway, now, Bill Stevens is a Delta rep. Our Delta man who flies us, uh, he wishes to... Say hello to his wife, Pam, back in Atlanta via WSB Radio, and thanks for the, the good care by Delta. And please find my boards, <laughs> and we've gotten beat. 31 to 27 today, Larry Munson, Jeff Van Noden, Dave O'Brien, and Kevin Anthony, who really had some great boards to work with today, and David Jones. And we've lost, but you can still kind of check and hang on because we are going to have... 
parts of that Phoenix New Orleans game until that thing is absolutely and positively settled. Larry Munson saying we got a playoff game next weekend. We don't uh, don't know what day or how it's going to go yet. It all depends upon what's happening out there in the desert. But we will see you next weekend. <laughs> Atlanta Falcon football on AM 750 WSB was brought to you by Pactel Cellular, proud sponsor of the Atlanta Falcons. By Bud Light. If you want the great taste of Bud Light, you've got to make the best call of the night. Ask for a Bud Light, because everything else is just a light. By Wolf Camera and Video. By Georgia Marble, makers of Limelight, and another new revolutionary product, Limelight Plus. By Texaco System 3 Gasoline. You get great performance in every octane grade of System 3. Texaco System 3 Gasoline, it's that good. By the Atlanta Coca-Cola Bottling Company. Coca-Cola Classic, can't beat the real thing. By the Sports Shoot. By Piedmont Hospital Sports Injury Clinic, where minor injuries get major league care. By OptiWorld, Atlanta's best eyewear value. By allergy-free air filters. By Sears Brand Central, the brand you want at a store you trust. Sears Brand Central. By Eagle Snacks. Eagle took the chip, made it hip. By U.S. Postal Service, they deliver for you. And by Pizza Hut Delivery, when it's got to be hot, we're ready to drive. Scott Slade saying thank you for showing the heart of Atlanta to unfortunate children all around our city. Keep those calls coming for the AM750 WSB Christmas Kids. Good afternoon, I'm Tom Kennedy in the AM750 WSB News Center. It's 432. Atlanta police continue looking for the man they believe shot and killed Officer Niles Johansson last night. Johansson was shot several times as he responded to a report of a suspicious person in the neighborhood near the federal penitentiary. He's the first Atlanta police officer killed in the line of duty since 1989. The search is on for 20-year-old Nora Speed, the suspected shooter. The body of slain American hostage William Higgins could be in the morgue at American University Hospital in Lebanon. Hospital officials say a decomposed body brought in last night appeared to be Higgins. White House officials say they cannot confirm the Marine Lieutenant Colonel's body is there. News report.